Good morning, welcome back. Tis the season for sniffles and sneezes, allergies affecting millions of people each year, and they can be so severe at times they can cause people to miss school and work. And joining us this morning from Gunderson Health System, allergy specialist uh, Jared Darvo. Uh, Jared, what are people typically having reactions to when they have these so-called seasonal springtime allergy symptoms? Good question. So in the spring season, you know, right away when that snow melts, um, we see a surge in mold levels. All of that mold that had settled from the previous fall, um, that can cause a problem for people. As we get a little bit later into the spring, when the trees start opening up, they start pollinating. And so really high pollen levels from trees can do it. Later into the spring and late spring, early summer, grasses start pollinating and those can be a problem for people as well. I feel like I'm one of those people who's <laughs> suffering the entire season. Is that usually the case? If you usually have out the seasonal allergies, is it, is it common to see them throughout the year or throughout the season? Yeah, that's not uncommon actually to have problems basically whenever there's not snow on the ground here in Wisconsin from spring all the way through the end of fall. So um, not uncommon, right, right? Yeah, brace for the season, so to speak. So <laughs> what kind of medications work best? We see a lot of different brands and types out there, uh, different colors really uh, to go with the different, uh, do they all treat sort of the same thing? Some of them do and some of them don't. There's a lot of good over-the-counter medications that are very helpful. The antihistamine medications like Zyrtec, Claritin, Allegra, uh, those are helpful for some of the itchy, kind of sneezy sort of symptoms. If your eyes are bothering you, there are over-the-counter allergy eye drops that I recommend. Um, some of them say they get the redness out, but those can sometimes cause you more problems, so I would focus on just the antihistamine eye drops. If those aren't really enough to cut it, then your next step is really to use an intranasal steroid spray. So like Flonase and Nasacort are two over-the-counter brands that are available. Um, the key with those medications is they really work best at preventing symptoms from happening. They struggle a little bit with fixing symptoms that are already there and they take a little while to work. So if, if your pattern is, is every spring I have a lot of problems, now is the time to get started on it to prevent those. Yeah, take those steps, those preventative measures uh, to head things off before it gets too bad out there. And uh, Dr. Right. Darvo, we thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right, 10 minutes before 7 o'clock, taking a live look at Tower Sky Cam. Beautiful day on tap despite some fog in certain areas ahead of a rough week. We'll focus on today with your bus stop forecast next.